something that'll shed light on who you're looking for. Are you ready for this? Probably not. We'll play it anyway. I want you to run an errand for me, Mr. Iraq. Right. Their name and address for this errand, Mr. Quinn. Blinks and Pierce. Make it a strong warning. Hit the family if you have to. Sir, yes, sir. What they do? Not your concern, Mr. Rack. It was your tope. And I'll let you be in charge of the auction next year. He's one cold son of a bitch. Fucking Quinn. It was just supposed to be a fast job, a big payoff, no problem. Fucking mob boss. It ain't my place to tell you what to do, but in case you're wondering, Quinn's got some charity thing going on. At his hotel, the Merlot. Nikki'll never come back. I've driven her from her home, from me. I know she's safe. They're both safe. Now Quinn, lucky Quinn, he's brought all of this on us. He's the ghost I've been chasing. Well, now he'll answer to me. started. My whole world crushed because of this place. Because of Lucky Quinn. He ordered the attack on me. On my family. Well, he's gonna tell me why. And then he's gonna die. should meet. I've always made my money finding information for people. The harder it was to find, the more money I made. You didn't know what they do. I'm going to fix things. There's nothing to fix. I'm sorry, Aiden. Clara, what's going on? What are you gonna do? I am sorry, but I warned you. Politicians are not capable of brief speeches. <laughs> before, before becoming mayor, even before I was in politics at all, <laughs> Lucky and I go way back, way back. What I know about Lucky. <laughs> Funny, you know. After knowing him for so long, I only recently just started calling him Lucky. Where, where was I? Not many know, as well as I do, how big Lucky's heart is. Generous to our city. And now with his charity. Stretching around the world. His generosity knows no bounds. I'd like to propose a toast. To, to Lucky Quinn. Mayor Rushmore, everyone. Thanks very much, Mayor. Enjoy your evening, everyone. Thank you for helping a great cause.
My husband's contributed a large sum in the past to the cause. I'm sure we'll do it again this year. I have to take a wheel and watch my wife. Make sure she doesn't drink any more tonight. Who's the man I saw Kringle earlier? The tall man with the ass in front of Russia. No, no, you're not listening to me. It was last summer. I want out. You hear me? I want out from this. Think I have time for more of your whining? Gang shootings? And that... that godforsaken auction fiasco? You've made both of us targets! You wanted to be mayor! Do your bloody job! You say what I told you to say. Your men took out a rack. Our fine mayor. Rose would be so proud. How dare you? Give me that damn video! You're out. When I say you're out. You gave your speech? Now please, leave my hotel. I have more important matters than you. You've ruined me. I'm not gonna stand for it anymore. Are you listening to me, Lucky? down over
lucky forever. This can only what end. Is? What? Oh, find you. If that ain't no. Got it. Oh. Enough is enough. This is bad. You best be careful, he's doubled his men. I think he's expecting you. Good. You don't take warnings very well. You're a smart man. You should know when you're beaten. <laughs> that hit you ordered. My niece died in that car. Six-year-old girl. Oh. Is this what all the fuss is about? <clears throat> you must forgive me. You know, so many people come to me with the little problems. <laughs> uh, it's hard to keep track sometimes.
wasting our time. He's gone. Mr. Pierce, just walk away. Live your life. I assure you, this room is impenetrable. So many people trying to catch you, including myself. You've been more elusive than we anticipated. when you go out there that the city will fall to its knees in gratitude? Everything all right? Your concern is charming, but I'd concentrate on your escape right now. I came here for you. You think bulletproof glass is going to stop me? What are you doing? Watching an old man die. Bigger men than you have tried to destroy me. I've ripped them apart. One by one. to bake. Lucky Quinn? On his knees. Beg all you want, that doesn't interest me. You don't even know why we attacked you. It was a mistake. We thought you wanted this. You were just sloppy. If you'd walked I away, I have proof. I would have forgotten you. What a lovely woman, Rose Washington. Wasn't for her death, where would I be? <laughs> Most women die without purpose. But she had enough sense to die in front of the camera. <laughs> See, and our mayor never tidy with his secrets. And stupid enough to fall in love. All of this. Lena's death. Because you didn't want to lose a puppet. Do you think you've won? You see, when I die, they'll build a statue. And you? You have, you have to help me. The city didn't stop for your grieving family. Because you don't matter. I, I know I have proof. 
Haven't you heard? I'm the vigilante. I clean up mess like you. Quinn, after all, I'm uploading a video to you now. A video? Of what? You'll see. Have a look around. Watch your back. All units be advised, air support is inbound. Oh! <laughs> 
Hello, Aiden. I can't decide where to begin. Hello, Aiden. I can't decide where to begin. The first time I saw you, you were playing chess with Jackson in the park. Both of you are still very sad from the funeral. I could see how you made him feel safe. In our world, we hide in the dark behind monitors. That's the only place we feel safe. It isn't enough to say that I didn't know. That lives would be lost or that it was only a job. I thought if I could help you heal, help you find answers, maybe I could heal myself. But I can't. When this is all over, I hope we can at least talk. Or if not, at least I can't disappear. That's something I'm good at.